Yes guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and in today's video I'll be doing Game Week 22 of the Premier League predictions. Now I haven't done Game Week Premier League predictions for a while so I thought today today we might as well do the Premier League predictions for this week. So please like, subscribe, turn those notifications and without further ado let's get into the, today's video. So the first game, which is tonight at 8 o'clock, which is in 2 hours and 20 minutes, it is Chelsea versus Fulham. So a London derby. Um, it's going to be a very interesting game because, of course, Fulham did play Chelsea not long ago. And it was a 2-1 um, win to Fulham at Craven Cottage. Um, now, in terms of signings, Fulham, I don't know how many Fulham have had. But all I know is that Chelsea have had so many signs. The latest sign from Benfica, of course, Fernandez. Liverpool were interested in them, but clearly they've snatched them off. Um, Chelsea, tenth in the league, not very good of this season. Seven losses, eight wins, and five draws with a uh, mon with a goal difference of one and uh, points with twenty nine. But Fulham are only two points ahead of them, and they are in seventh. With nine wins, four draws and eight losses with a goal for a difference of two. Um, match fact says Chelsea have won, Chelsea have won one, one uh, drawn one and three losses in the last five matches. Now with Fulham, they've won, they've won two, drawn one and lost two. So I think, well of course Fulham have done much better, well uh, better than Chelsea. But the amount of signings Chelsea have had, I'm saying a 2-1 win to Chelsea. I feel like they're going to get the revenge. I really do feel like they're going to get the revenge. Next game is Everton versus Arsenal. 19th versus 1st. Now, many people might think, oh, Arsenal are going to absolutely batter them. 3 or 4-0. Um, but with a new manager coming in, Sean Dyke for Everton... I think Everton are actually going to do very well with them. Even though I do think they're going to lose against Arsenal because Arsenal have done absolutely fantastic this season. So with 16 wins, 2 draws and 1 loss, which means they've got 50 points uh, halfway through to 100. And they've got a minus goal difference of 29. So, they're not a minus goal difference, but a goal difference of 29, sorry. Um, but they still are four uh, four goal difference uh, goals away from the, uh, Man City. But with Everton, they've lost eleven, drawn six, and won three. That is really bad for a side. I mean, Everton have done poorly in the last three years, more than that actually. Uh, and match facts it says Everton have lost their last four matches. That's all it says. Um, New manager coming in. Arsenal have made some signings. Um, I think. I can't make I don't even know if they have made any signings. Head to head. Arsenal have won. Or actually, Arsenal have won. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They haven't done very well, actually, in the past 20 matches against Everton. They've lost 1, 2, 3. Oh, my God, they got battered against them in 2014. Let's be honest. I think Everton are going to lose this. I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm going to go straight away score... Of 2-0 Chelsea, 2-0 Arsenal. I do think Arsenal are going to beat them still. I think they'll play very well, but I think it'll be a very surprising score. You thought 3 or 4-0, but I'm going to say 2-0. Um, but yeah, on to the next match. Next game, we have got 11th against 14th. Villa versus Leicester. Aston Villa are 10 points. Aston Villa are 10 points above Leicester City uh, with 28 points. Um, I generally think this is going to be an easy game, a, a, an even game. Then when the po the point gap, the the, the um, but the, how close they are, I mean, even though fourteen and eleven in terms of the point difference is quite massive actually. Um, now the match facts: Aston Villa have won three, 
won uh, drawn one and lost one in the last five matches but while Leicester have won two drawn one and lost two so yeah Villa have done much better um especially with of course uh Unai Emery in charge I feel I mean head to head Leicester it's been it's actually it's been very even I feel it's, yeah it's been a very even uh tie between the two I'm going to say a 2 all draw between Aston Villa and Leicester. Next up, we have got the Seagulls versus the Cherries. Brighton versus Bournemouth, uh, which means it is 6th versus 18th. Um, I'm going to gonna straight away say the score. Brighton haven't lost in five matches. That is actually really good. Um... I'm going to say a 2 0 win to Brighton. Next up, we have got the Red Devils versus Crystal Palace, 4th versus 12th. Now, of course, Manchester United did beat um, Not in the Forest 2 0, which means 5 0 on aggregate in the Carabao Cup. Um, so that does give, I mean, let's be honest, Man United have done so well this season, um, especially how, how, how bad he and former have been in the last. I don't know, in the last two to three years, or more, even more than that. Um, Crystal Palace haven't won in a, a match in five attempts. That's awful. Uh, I'm going to say... Now, remember, Crystal Palace, not long ago, did play Man United, and it was a draw between the two sides, but that was at Selhurst Park. I'm going to say... A 3-1 win. Yeah, 3-1 win to Manchester United. I'll, I'll have to put the Red Devils up. I'm sorry. I'm a Liverpool fan. I'll have to put the Red Devils up. Speaking of being a Liverpool fan, it is Wolves versus Liverpool. Free cock kickoff. Not on TV, sadly. Um, we are... I just can't tell you how badly we've been in form so far. Six losses, five draws and eight wins. I, I'm so upset, man. I've been so upset for the last one month or so. To how poorly we've been. Actually, no. I've been upset since the start. Drawn to Fulham. Drawn to Crystal Palace. Losing to Manchester United. But then we're beating Bournemouth 9-0. We've really, we had a really off season today. This season, sorry. Um, now, Wolves are 17th. We're 9th. This is going to be a tight game. I really do think. The last time we did meet Wolves was in the FA Cup third round. Before we did get beaten by Brighton. With a hard one. Well, I mean, Harvey Elliott did score a very good goal against Wolves. To make us go through to the fourth round. Which made us lose to Brighton. Uh, head to head. I think we've done very well. This, I mean, we haven't lost since... 2019 on the 7th of Jan. We haven't lost them since then. And that was the... Okay, the Premier League, we haven't lost since... That's so funny. We haven't lost to them since 2010 in the FA Cup. We've lost to them mostly in the FA Cup. But this is in the Premier League when 2010. I might have said the Premier League accidentally. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to straight away say I won no win to Liverpool. I think we'll struggle this match. Um, Dark Salah has been so off the season. Darwin Nunes has been okay. Cody Akpo can't really give him much of a chance. Uh, I don't think people are giving him much of a chance. He knows he's not even been into the season that much. Um, we need Lewis Diaz back. We need Diogo Zotta back. Canati's injured now. Virgil van Dijk, Firmino is injured. One that went to Liverpool. I'm still. Uh, that means we'll come. Oh my god. We'll be we'll be we sick. Oh my god. Time are flying. They're five points ahead of Brighton. We'll be sick if we were. We need Brighton to lose though, and I don't think they will. Yeah, on to next game. Next game we have got thirds versus sixteenth. Newcastle United versus West Ham United. Uh head to head. I bet you Newcastle have had... Oh, actually, hang on. Newcastle, I've lost one. It's been an even battle, to be fair, between the two sides. Um, 
Newcastle have been on an unbelievable form so far. Getting to the Carabao Cup final, being third. Oh, crap. May I the fourth? I didn't know that. May I the fourth? If I said third, I do apologise. Newcastle are fourth. Newcastle are third. So it is, I mean, Newcastle have been on un unbelievable form. The only time they've lost was against Liverpool. Unbelievably. At Anfield. Uh, just, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to straight away say a 3 0 win. No. I I'm thinking over the top here. 2 1 win. 2 1 win to Newcastle. I was thinking over the top. I can't, I, I, I'm thinking, I, I'm over racing, I'm uh, uh, under racing West Ham. They may not have done a very, they, they've lost the second most matches. They've lost 12 matches. Southampton have lost 13. They've done crap this season, West Ham, I can't lie. But I'm not going to, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm going to say two more. Two more. Next game, we have got Nottingham Forest versus Leeds United. Um, this is going to be a tight match, 13th versus 15th. Both teams on poor form so far. Uh, Nottingham Forest, oh my god, the amount of signs they've made so far just to keep their team up to stay in the Premier League. They've made at least 20 to 25 signs. Kaylor Navas, um, Shelby, I can't remember name the other ones, but they, they, I think they're going to beat him, you know. I'm going to say a 1 0 win. To Nottingham Forest. I think it was going to be a good game. Not one win to Nottingham Forest. Now, the biggest game and the last game of the Premier League game week 22 is Tottenham Hotspur versus Manchester City. I didn't say Manchester United. Manchester City. So, uh, fifth versus second. Now, the last time these two meet, did meet, it was 4-2 uh, to Manchester City after Tottenham were winning 2-0 and then they conceded four goals. Uh, Tottenham have won three, drawn zero, uh, drawn zero, and lost two in five matches. Well, Manchester City have won three, drawn zero, and lost two. So I think they're on exact, they're on exactly the same uh, form in the last five matches. Um, I'm going to say a one-all draw. I think Tottenham will get snatch it late. I think Tottenham will snatch it late. Um, that is a four thirty kickoff. Uh, and it is live on Sky Sports Premier League. If you want to watch it, it'll be a very good. It'll be a very interesting game. I can't lie. Um, but yeah, that will be the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I will see you on another video. Love, peace, and seconds.